I'm Martine LaDuke. I'm Ginger Rem. And this is Life, Life Science at a Social, social distance. distance. Here we are at Boyd Hill, and this is another plant that you might see when you're here in Florida. This is called the air potato vine, and it is a beautiful vine. The leaves are shaped like hearts. They have the veins of the leaf make this swirling pattern. They all start right here in the center and they swirl out to the sides. And as you can see, some of the leaves will get as big as dinner plates. But unfortunately, this vine does not belong in Florida. It is an exotic plant and it's one of our most invasive plants that we have in Florida. Um, the air potato vine was brought here from Asia or nor North Africa and it was brought here through the landscaping trade. If you had an ugly fence in your backyard that you wanted to cover, you could plant air potato vine at the bottom of it and this vine grows so quickly, six to eight inches in one day, and it would cover your fence in no time and pretty soon you'd have nothing but these cute little heart-shaped leaves bobbing around in the wind. But unfortunately the vine has gotten out of control in Florida and it grows and it will cover the canopy of this forest and it will end up killing the trees underneath because the trees won't be able to photosynthesize and the trees underneath die. So it pretty much smothers everything in its path. In Florida, we're trying to get rid of the air potato vine. It's called an air potato because potato looking bulbs grow on the vine part of the air potato plant at a different time of year. and. Each potato that falls to the ground will sprout a new one. Whether it's as big as my baby fingernail or gets this big, they're all able to sprout new plants. So every bulb that would fall off this vine would make new plants down here. Some parks will have what's called an air potato roundup. And it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. When the potatoes are out in the park and they're falling onto the ground, they ask all the kids in the city to come to their park. You hunt for air potatoes. Sometimes they'll have a prize for the biggest air potato, a prize for the smallest air potato, the funniest shaped air potato. And so that's kind of like a Florida Easter egg hunt, trying to eradicate and get rid of this vine. Another thing was the University of Florida brought in a beetle from Asia that eats the air potato. And I was a little bit leery at first, thinking we don't want to introduce another exotic species like the beetle, but they studied it for years and they found that it only eats the air potato. So if you notice the little chew marks out of this leaf, that's from the air potato beetle. They released them in 2011 and they're in different spots in Florida now and they found that they eat the leaves. It, they don't kill the vine though, they slow down its growth because once this leaf, it'll get to look really lacy and the leaf doesn't have as much surface area for photosynthesis and the plant won't be able to grow as quickly. They also found that the plants that have had the Asian beetle on it won't produce as many air potatoes either. So it's just their way of slowing down the growth of the air potato vine so that maybe we can get in and get rid of, pull them up eventually and try to get rid of this. So although it's a beautiful plant and you'd love to have it in your yard, it's extremely invasive and it's something that we want to get rid of. So if you do have it in your yard, it's something that you want to pull up and take care of it. This is Martine LaDuke at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Thanks for watching.